Welcome back everyone. Well, the sun was out in full force today and will continue over the next seven days, only picking up a cloud or two each and every day. But radar right now showing the clear skies still remaining in the viewing area every now and then it wants to pick up a pop of shower, but those are just some chimney clouds as well as some ground clutter throughout the viewing area. So no rain reaching the surface tonight. Temperatures right now throughout the viewing area 87 in Charleston as well as Champaign and Danville. 89 down at Effingham as well as Terre Haute. But once we add in the heat index, it's feeling like 92 degrees here in Charleston, 95 down in Robinson as well as Terre Haute and 94 up in Champaign. So it is a very, very warm day out there today. And it's because of these dew points, which brings up the humidity. But the closer the dew points are to the actual temperature, the more humid it is. It is 70 degree dew point in Charleston, 73 up in Champaign. Effingham has been a little bit better, but it's still been humid and sticky down there at 61 degrees. We can expect this to carry over one more day before that cold front moves through, but future cast for tomorrow showing clear skies, which won't help that temperature lower. It will actually help it raise just a bit. So it's clear skies tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine every now and then cloud moves through and future cast shows some chances of rain, but I'm leaving that out of the forecast as I think it's just too warm and a little too dry for anything to reach the surface for tomorrow. So overnight tonight, temperatures going to be around 69 degrees. Most of clear skies, a nice breeze coming from the south, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Well, it sounds nice for tonight. It's going to be a little hurtful tomorrow as you head to school and you send your kids off. Well, temperatures to start off the day are around 77 degrees as they head to school. Again, it's going to be warm and muggy, so make sure you send them with a water bottle to before school and then send them an extra one for afterwards. Make sure they stay hydrated because whenever the bus picks them up or drops them off, it's going to be around 89 degrees to end the school day. So again, another hot, humid day. Make sure you stay hydrated even if you're going to work. And then we get the break from the sunshine come Friday with some clouds. I'm not expecting too much rain from this, maybe a tenth of an inch for the most part, but otherwise we stay dry with those clear conditions thanks to high pressure moving through just shortly after that. Plenty of sunshine in this forecast, as I said earlier, but as we look ahead, the average around this time of year, believe it or not, is 79 degrees tomorrow, close to 90 degrees yet again. And then that cold front moves through, bringing great conditions for Friday night football, as well as Eastern's home opener on Saturday against uh, Illinois State University. And then temperatures ramp back up come Sunday, as well as Monday, well above that average of 79. So again, a warm week, but it's not going to affect Saturday's game as Eastern opens up against Illinois State for the Mid-America Classic. Kickoff is around 2 p.m. Temperatures are going to be at 80. We top out at 83 come halftime and then the final down around 81. So it's a beautiful day. Get outside, go for that tailgate, get some hot dogs, maybe a burger or two before the game and plenty of sunshine in the forecast. Temperatures well above that average of 79 degrees. Coolest day in this forecast is actually Wednesday, but before that is Saturday with those partly cloudy skies at 81 degrees. Our overnights aren't much better as far as temperature goes. Our overnight average is 61 and we're well above that. So I'm really looking forward to the 70 degree temperatures come next Wednesday. Phil, I couldn't agree more. That 79 degrees looks great right now. Yeah, I love the sunshine, but I'm not liking these warmer temperatures too much. Thanks, Phil.